Mmm. Yeah. You got a pick, Trent. I appreciate being alive. So I appreciate Taco Bell. <laughs> so you ain't never had a foot long? No. Dude. Never, ever? Never in my life. Maverick fam, how is it going? How's your mama? How's your, wait, that was my intro. That's it, how's your mama? Nah, it's how's it going, how's your mama? No, you just say how's your mama. I like, you do say how's it going, how's your mama? Damn. That was like how it originated. How's you know, your mama? When you cut off the how's it going, then you just disrespect them. Just straight to the mamas? Yeah. Nah, I care about you and your mama. Man. How you doing, <laughs> how's your mama? We back with another mukbang, man. Got Juice Wifey Trento in the building. Today trying out the crispy chicken yana? Chicken crispignano? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an empanada. Yo, oh, an empanada yeah. with crispy chicken in it. Yeah, so it's yeah, a yeah. crispignano. There you go. Chicken okay. crispignano, mm. man, from Taco Bell. This is special because Trent hasn't had Taco Bell in like six years. Yeah, it's been a while. Eat he, tell him the reason why you stopped eating, man. Well. And yeah. the reason you stopped doing the mukbang intro right. My bad, I forgot to say mukbang gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped eating Taco Bell because there was a fruit snack on the floor like where the employees were working. Man. It was unsanitary standards. Six basically. years ago. He what has it just got but it was your favorite before that. Yeah, I used to before love Taco Bell. Before the fruit Bell. snack? Yeah, before the fruit, I just stopped on a dime. Mm -hmm. And Over ne the never looked snack. back, never looked back. So, so the crispignana brought him back. I said we get right into it, man. They do have different sauces. Anybody want to mess with that? There's like chipotle uh, stuff. I think I'm all this right. This looks like a complicated bean to eat right it now. Does. I don't know where I want to bite it from. Yeah, it's it kind of break. Uh huh. That's why I got mine. I'm broke. dipping it. Whatever like, this is, it's got ranchy energy, but with you, see herbs. The, you see the bubbles on mine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I got like. <laughs> I don't like bite it. Grease bubbles. Kinda. I didn't get a good like bite. The top. Oh, you yeah. the corner. Instead of the corner. bottom, I'm gonna go for like the bottom corner. That's a solid Taco Bell menu, man. Menu item. Everyone get their scores ready. One in ten. You're not feeling it? Mm. But you gotta bite, Juice. I don't know, man. You gotta get more chicken in there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you struggling? I'm gonna give it like a three. A three? Tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like fried chicken. You don't like it? Nah. Like a foe. A four, y'all tripping, that man. Ain't, that, that ain't I want to add some of these potatoes to it. Is that beverage here? Is that water? That ain't the move, I don't think so. <laughs> if you're a real one, this is what you really get. I'm back normal. The quesadilla? The quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. So you get, what's your score, Jasmine? They hating on it. Let me see. I'm gonna say a five. A five. Jasmine, Whoa. Team hate. I want to throw these. Potatoes on there. You're crazy. I've seen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my lord. No way, Dion. Try bite with those on there. I don't like potatoes like that. Juice. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you. Without the potatoes, it's a solid <laughs> seven. Mm. It's seven. Okay. It'll get the job done. Okay. Get you some protein. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's chicken. A little fried shell. I don't get how y'all hating at a I think, that, I think that's what I don't like about it. The outer shell. Really? Yeah, like the crunchiness and the taste of the shell, really. Yeah, the outerness I don't really like either, but it's more so like the inside doesn't have enough variety of flavor, I guess. Even adding like the sauce. Come on, somebody added to add, add the potato. Didn't do it. as Try much. Try the potato in there, Jasmine. Throw a potato in there. I think with the potato goes to an 8.5. <laughs> Two points? Mmm. Yes, juice. Try it. I don't like potatoes. Added potato. Try it, juice. Be a man. Try it. I don't like potatoes, Dion. But you'll like that. And then you next turn. I won't. Are you I'm serious? Dion. What's it what's it gonna add to it? Potato filling. I'm good. You better even put me in there, man. I put one potato, Dion. I, I just crazy. say I don't like potato. I mean, I think it's a nacho cheese that helps. <laughs> Not the potato. Mm. But it adds more dynamic to it. I'll give him that. But that kind of proves my point. Like, it's just not enough filling. Like, there's a whole inch of empty space at the top that they could have filled with nacho cheese and potato. 
<laughs> yeah. And that it might have helped. Yeah. It because it gives it more, you know. It's like more. But on its own, it's not. I'm all good, cheese. That's crazy. <laughs> I made dude. it a little bit. I don't even think I can eat that by itself. Really? Potatoes with sour cream on it with cheese mixed together? You don't like that? That's a. I'm good without all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. That's the yeah. Man, you're weird, Trent. I but old faithful. 8.5 solid. I know some of y'all some real ninjas. Crunchy though. taco. Make sure you throw some potatoes on it. Let me know what you think. And if y'all have had it, give us your score. I get how they're not, it's, the, it's not the best thing ever to them, but I respect Taco Bell and what, what they do for the community, man. And what was your rating of it? I'm gonna give it a seven. All right. With the potatoes, it's an 8.5. Mm. Okay, okay. Generous. Yeah. Mmm. Burn! Nah, dude, it's not that good. Dude. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I, I get that though. I'm only real ninja here. This ninja don't even eat nah. peanut butter or chocolate. Nope. Love him. Nope. She got health issues, so she got to eat real sophisticated and pescatarian wise. And what about now? Nah, Come what on now. Mean? I kind of like it's a fruit snack. I don't even make this. It should it be there, damn. Mm. <laughs> There's real ninjas out there, but I get how y'all don't. Y'all aren't in love with it. So that's a good debate though. We're talking top five fast food spots of all time. Taco Bell's in that top five. Say I'm wrong. You're wrong. Wow. That's not in my top five. Juice, keep it real. Taco Bell's definitely in my top five. It's got to. Got to be, but it's number five. What's crazy, this is what's crazy was disrespect for you. I know your life. I know you in real life. I know your whole childhood. We probably wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for Taco Bell. Oh, I do know you that. You know how many times we could only afford tacos? I, I agree. There's been times we've been so poor, we had to use a little bit of gas we had to go to Taco Bell. Our mom could only afford us like three tacos. She tried to pretend like she ain't hungry. Right. Trent would eat one, I'd eat two. Of course, I wanted more because it was after basketball practice. Mm -hmm. And it literally kept us alive, just barely. Mm -hmm. You gonna disrespect it. Nah. That's crazy. That's crazy, it literally kept you alive. When you put in your top five. It kept us, like, uh, I don't know, Dion. It is keeping us alive, but what is it doing to us while we're alive? Is while I'm trying to get this quality. Keeping you alive. It is keeping us alive. I can see if you eat healthy. You don't even eat healthy, though. I know, but if I do eat fast food, I feel like there's tiers to health in the fast food. You're not wrong. And that's why this would go the same tier as, like, Del Taco, and the same tier as, like, I feel that health wise, it definitely can't be healthy. Yeah. But but I don't just being alive. Like, so yeah, you pick, Trent. I appreciate being alive. So I appreciate Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate Taco Bell. <laughs> but you just turned your back on. Shout out now. to the CEO. But I don't know if I you can just put get it out the hood and never come back. That's crazy. Nah, wow. yeah, that's not it. it. Couldn't be me. I'm gonna bust the kids with new shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm paying respect to the CEO and all of Taco Bell. <laughs> respect. Okay. Then what's your top five? Probably Chipotle. Uh, Chick fil A. Do we get Chipotle in there? Do we let them? I guess we can. Oh, I was gonna ask, are we talking places that have a drive? Does it have to have a drive through? That's typically the, I feel like the fast food. Yeah, but, but certain things like Chick or uh, Chipotle, maybe Five Guys work. So, okay, good to know. All right, mm, Go I ahead. forgot about I'm gonna say Chipotle. Oh, wait, 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 are you sure you want to add that in? Because that might not talk about my top five. Dang. No, it, it just it is what it is. That's the rules. Those rules. so it's like a quick place, and so not like a place that you sit down. It's a quick order, whether you have to drive through or walk in and get it. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So for that reason, Chipotle counts. Chipotle, ahead, Chick, Chick Fil A, <laughs> Wingstop. Whoa, Wingstop. Is that quick? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. You it's kind of there with five guys. Yeah. So that's three. Chipotle, Chick Fil A, Wingstop, five guys. I already said that right. No, that's four. That's four. It's the most like. So I just need one more. Suburban, fast food, sophisticated. You picked all like the rich, it's the white girl places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't let them shame you, Trent. Yeah. Your little Starbucks. Stand by Starbucks. Stand, stand, stand by your Starbucks. I don't know what the fifth is. Nah, the Chelsea. Is. Nah. <laughs> Fluff it. For the fifth, I would say like, I don't know. It's gonna be a drop of quality with like the jack in the box. Mm. That's a jack. That's like bottom. Okay. Okay, okay. That's just because I can't think no, of a fifth. Like I can't think of a fifth right now. I can't think of a fifth. Jack in the Box is kind of expensive too for like the. I feel like Jack in the Box is like the same kind of quality as like Carl's Jr. or like this, maybe even like McDonald's. Yeah, it's definitely lower tier. I feel that. We're talking about like what we like though, right? Mm -hmm. And like not the quality of the food. For all like the different reasons go into it. Yeah, whatever right, right. reasons you got. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> all right. Got it. You're next. Okay. So, Five Guys, Chipotle. 
Panera. You're gonna be blue, super bougie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Panera. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Jack in the Box is definitely okay. Probably one of my favorite. That's ever. love to the. Um, to the, that's love to the streets. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. And then um, the tacos at two a.m. Yeah. Right. And then Wendy's. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. What do you like for Wendy's? That's crazy. You, you they're just like baked potatoes and their salads and stuff. I was okay. a Baconator fan. So it's like, we're talking mm. like, kind of like the same way I look at like my all time rappers and stuff. It's like who I listen to, where I eat, where I go, where I've spent my money. I'm not even gonna say what's gonna sound cool. But like, yeah, those are, if I had to like pick, if I'm gonna pick a fast food place, those are places I pick. I respect that. You started off real Scottsdale. And then, I mean, and then little, shout like, out to my like, Arizona loves. Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> what a little Phoenix at the end. Um, man, again, I just factor in so many things like keeping me alive, being affordable. So I gotta go McDonald's and Taco Bell. They gotta get in there for those reasons. Then I'm gonna go with one that I feel like is actually seasonal. I just It's just cause I love it, but it hasn't always been there for me in my life in the same way I gotta go canes, okay? That's a lot for me. But I actually do feel people, so Trent thinks it's overrated. I think you kinda think it's overrated now yeah, too. For sure, yeah. I don't be hating on people. Since I've had it locally, it's a little bit not as dope for me, but it's still amazing. This is where it gets tough for me though. This is where it gets tough, Juice. Cause I ain't like Trent. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the real to the, the people, yeah, the for the, the people, that, the, the, the places that had me. But what about like, so but quality does it like cross your mind at all? Nah, I do. And that's why I feel you when you say five guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw five guys in there. Yeah. That's my four. My fifth. But the fifth is hard. Number five is tough. I got mine locked in. But I think. I feel like I'm forgetting something fire. I don't know what I want, man. For the, yeah, that's what I'm feeling like. Cause there's some, there's some that I could go that's not really local to me, that's special in my heart, like a Shake Shack. Yeah. No, not Shake Shack, Steak and Shake. Mm. Shake Shack got them whack fries. Shake Shack. Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake, oh my lord. Shake Shack. But what's crazy every now and then, like you catch me in the right mood. There's another burger place, the out of California. Fat Burger. Yeah. Fat Burger, <laughs> oh my lord, Fat Burger? Man. <sighs> but I don't really frequent those, so I'ma go ahead, I'ma stop being dramatic juice, I'ma go ahead and pick, and I'ma just say, Look at you. You're out of quality, so we know that. I really am. I almost said Burger King from my childhood, but Burger King is so hit or miss. Like, yeah. Burger King's either amazing, yeah, or, or it's like the worst thing that I got. So just to, let me, let me, let me, let me shut up. Let me shut up. I'm gonna just go ahead and say Chick-fil-A. I think Chick-fil-A's been good. Can't mm -hmm. really sleep on this. I'm surprised there's only five for you. Oh no, we had to go top five. I love uh, them all. Yeah. I love okay. them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All right, Juice, you got yours locked in? Yeah, I'm gonna go one Slim Chickens. Mm. Is that local to here? Do we know? Let us know if y'all yeah, have a slim chicken. Is that a recency bias? You just had no, but is it just like Albuquerque? It? I don't think so. Okay. No, Let us know if y'all have had slim chickens. So <coughs> you like it? Slim chicken. <coughs> McDonald's. Yup. Taco Bell. Yup. Chick Fil A. Yup. And Sonic. Mm, put them footlongs. Chill out. Some <laughs> so we gotta stop this. We gotta stop this. So you ain't never had a foot long? No. Dude, never ever? Never in my life. Bye, guys. I think the one well, thing that you're thinking home. about yeah, is yeah. I, got the, I got the large chili cheese tots mm. and they put it in like a coney box. I didn't, I didn't see tots in it though. There it was, was empty. Tots, I think it was bro. empty. I think he had no, a coney in there. No, it wasn't. He just no. got out of home. Mm, that's no, tried to be yeah. slick with. That's crazy. like normal hot dogs. You Don't know what gets in my head though? Because Subway has new foot longs. You can get a foot long churro, you can get a foot long Auntie Anne's pretzel. Yeah, that's gay. No, that's foot long pretzel. Bomb! Cookie. And they're like $2. Whoa, Jesus. you about to defend that foot long pretzel? No, I was about to hate it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it tastes like paper. Wow, yeah. you got the foot long juice. Uh, it was a pretzel here. Like, it's not on. Auntie Anne's? <laughs> it, it says it's Auntie Anne's. It lied to you, Jack. You got foot long activity, nah. y'all. You know you got that coney. Uh, look, do you want to know how it's not? Because look, they pulled it out of the package and they put it in the same oven that they toasted sub with and push like the 15 second button and give it to you. It's not like they bring it out from the back and it's freshly baked. Nah. Mm. It's not like rolled out dough like nah. I was doing at Auntie Anne's. Yeah, nah. It's not like authentic. Nah, it's just like a little log that they stick in the oven to give it to you and say thank you and it's nasty. It's pretty gross. Did you eat the whole foot? No, nah, I took a bite in the morning no more. Yeah. It's bad like that. Like it's the outside extra crunchy, the inside's stale and nasty. Did you bite it from the side? No, man. I ripped it. Oh, there you go. We're making sure, Juice. 
What's wrong with your brother? Make sure you follow the protocol. <laughs> you cool being the foot long from the front? Nah. Yeah, I'm but not gonna eat one from the. Yeah, he, he'll be, but he, it'll be by himself. I don't I'm frustrated that you even not, buying it, Juice. I'm but not, now that you got it, you gotta eat it, right? I'm not. Full apart. I never bought a coney in my life. Dude. That's good. You got a full on pretzel though. And what there was a picture on the internet where you just there wasn't taking it to the face. <laughs> so I just had to make sure, Juice. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you bite or eat it to the no, side. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey, y'all, let us know your top five, man. <laughs> top five. I thought like we should wrap this up here. We could do so many different, more, so many more top five, so many more debates. Let us know what kind of combos y'all want to see. Any new food spots that are dropping anything that you want us to check out, let us know. Chris Mignano wasn't really a hit for us. It was a hit for me though, but they had a little bougie, it's all good. We were thinking about uh, KFC has a chicken pizza type vibe. <laughs> That's weird, we could try that. Uh, something you think Trina liked though. I want to see him happy. For oh, bougie man. options, nah. Panera <laughs> mukbang, woo! <laughs> But yeah, let us know. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. And until next time, God first, God bless.